Hey, I'm Emma Gala and welcome to this special episode of Paint It Black. I'm here today at the Invasion Day rally where thousands of people have joined together in solidarity to protest to change the day of Australia Day. Join me as I paint it black. We've been here since the beginning of the beginning. So take pride and to all our young people who are struggling. I've been there. It's about loving who you are and know that you are important. So I encourage our young people out there to stand strong, talk to your elders. Today is survival day, like we've survived. But it's also invasion day because it's a day that our people were invaded and the oppression and total destruction of a way of life that our ancestors knew was just totally destroyed. I would like to see the date change. It's definitely not a date to celebrate. We've grown up with Australia Day being a, a big celebration for us, but in our family and in a lot of our families, it's been like survival day, invasion day, so much more. And as a young kid, I, I couldn't comprehend as much why I was torn, because I had so many friends out there celebrating Australia Day, but then my family as well at the same time saying, no, no, this is, this is a day to be mourning and, and thinking of it differently. And it was difficult growing up in that way. Of, of going, well, where, where am I, like, in that sense? What do you want? Yes. Always was, always will be. Aboriginal land. Always was, always will be. Aboriginal land. I'm here because I don't like how Indigenous people are treated. Um, I know firsthand as a South Sudanese person how police treat us and I think it's just, yeah, it's disgusting. We carry transgenerational trauma. We are not able to heal ourselves and we need healing. Let's change the body night. Right across the country, we say no to a voice to parliament. That's just another national advisory body. We already have national advisory bodies. There's no mandate, there's no authority. We need to engage in treaty discussions on the ground with Aboriginal people right across this country. So only then are we gonna be able to create a national day of celebration when there is a true treaty in this country. And we shouldn't rush it, because if we rush something, we make mistakes. So if we take our time and go through it, yes, sometimes I just wanted to go, get it over and done with, that's it, cut it out. But then we make mistakes and, we'll, and we'll, we won't be in the right place that we want to be. So sometimes it is those little things mean a lot. In our schools and for the kids, um, really important that we're teaching them so that they can understand and appreciate um, that this is not a day for a national celebration um, and, there's, and there's really strong reasons why. I love it. The first, the, the first year we marched there was 20 of us. Now you've got thousands filling Forest Chase so it makes me proud as... It's an honour that we are here because of our ancestors from way back. We must honour them from the ancient times to yesterday's hero, today's hero. And bring people along with us to demand real change. The fact that we're able to be here with all of these people, incredible amount that are here, we're standing with us, Aboriginal, non-Aboriginal, all multicultural, it's, it's an incredible time to really be a part of this. So as a non-Indigenous person, it's up to us to educate ourselves um, and each other so that we can, you know, we can support Aboriginal voices and we can support, um, like I said, that truth-telling. Look, we were brought up with that generation of, of celebrating Australia, all of that, and we're able to be here and stand up for the rights of our ancestors and everyone else before us. Like, I think it's it makes me happy as a father to, to say, I think my son's future's bright. Yeah. Thanks for joining.
joining me this week at this Perth rally. See you next time.